Japan Post again. I pulled these out of the box beforehand because I didn't want to dox myself. Uh, Romancing Saga 2. I can't remember what this is called. Psychodetsin, something like that, too. And this is the one I'm most excited about, Street Fighter 2. So let's pop these bad boys open here. There's Street Fighter 2. Now, I had authentic Street Fighter 2, like the U.S. version, for a long time. And I remember that the action was really slow compared to later versions. Um, which, I, I mean, I guess why they, they had Street Fighter 2 Turbo, right? So that's kind of what I'm expecting. But nonetheless, that would be fun. Let's try a game I can't remember the name of. Mm, truly can't remember anything about this game, except that I see this one uh, a lot in the, the cheap Super Famicom stuff. I see this one quite a lot. And I think there's a third one as well. And another one I was really looking forward to. Romancing Saga 2. Okay, so, of the games that I have for, uh, you know, Super Famicom games that I can't play because of the language barrier. The one that I have played the most of, where is it at? Yep, here it is right up front. Romancing Saga 3, JRPG, Squaresoft, or Square, it wasn't Squaresoft yet. Great game, environment's awesome. I've just enjoyed like walking around and just doing the, doing the grind. Um, but yeah, can't play it. I can't really, uh, I can't follow the story. I can't really get anywhere. Because not only is it, uh, um, you know, the, the story is all in Japanese, of course, but it, the, the, the controls, like the, the, there's a lot of menus. I mean, it's an RPG. RPGs have menu diving, but it's like there's two simultaneous parties at once. And then there's, in the battles, there's a lot more options <clears throat> than your traditional, you know, JRPG or whatever. So that was really neat to see. So I'm looking forward to playing Romancing Saga 2. Um, all right. So here are the new ones. Here is the old uh, TV, right? Which still has my multi-cart set up again, just like last time. Let's clean these up and check them out. Q-tip. Q-tip. So of the three, I think the Street Fighter 2 looks like it's aged the most. Uh, but whatever, we'll get it cleaned up. All right. So let's try... We're gonna try Romancing Saga 2. Hmm. This is the way, this is the way YouTube used to, like all gaming YouTube was kind of like this. Camera on TV. And then if it fails, we all fail together. <laughs> all right, let's try this one more time. Uh, ah, okay. It is square soft. That was just square. <laughs> Skip. Oh, new games in English. Look at that. There we go. Yep. Two simultaneous. Uh, Okay, uh, so whenever I do, it allows me to put in a name. I always like. Oh, wait, select. See if it'll go to English characters. I put in the same symbol over and over again. That way I can tell when someone's referring to my character name. And here we go. Uh, traditional JRPG madness. Not much I can say about this. Sure, it looks good though. Let's try this one. Also, square soft. It sounds like whales. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Hey. L E 
X. All right, I have hope. Oh, that looks cool. Yeah, we're going full on skippable intro. <laughs> Does look cool. I was under the impression that this one was like a, like a, an action RPG, like Illusion of Guy or something like that. So I, I kind of want to push forward enough to see if that's true or not. Oh, that looks neat. That's some of that old F Zero action. Yep. There. So there I am with my English name. All right, this works. So let's check out uh, the one that's probably gonna get played the most. Uh, let's take a look at some Street Fighter 2. No, come on. Yeah, there we go. Capcom. The World Warrior. Game start versus battle mode option mode. Game start. Gotta be Ryu. Yep. There we go. Come on. <laughs> I'm not even worried about winning. I'm just like making sure that it runs. Yeah, because winning is not something I'm going to be doing. Fighter 2 works. Wow, and I'm like, it's, there's, yeah, fully English game so far. Alright, let's go Blanca, come on. This was a game that really did reward, like, cheesing, if I remember right. Well then. All right, so now I have to do the traditional gamer move and blame it on my controller because I'm using a knockoff controller. <laughs> so, ah uh, yes, now it's an import. Okay, no problem. Happy to let that part go. That is really cool. Option mode, okay. And I might need to use the old phone translator a little bit on this part. Sweet. Oh uh, yeah, so that is uh, another evening of Super Famicom with CF. Collection's getting rather large now, or at least for me. Um, I do have a bunch of American Super Nintendo games, by the way, they're just put away. So, thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.